Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Kid Clown in Nightmare World. In the last episode, we played through Stage 3, we climbed up a beanstalk, and we beat up a nasty giant. Now we're going into a world full of ice and snow for Stage 4. So without any further ado, let's begin. And I am going to be throwing quite a few balloons around just ahead of myself to take care of enemies such as these penguin-like creatures that will just slide towards me and get in the way, as well as these ice skating witches. If I can hit them from above or from behind, I can definitely take out the witches without much of an effort. Apparently it works better if I do that from behind, though. Anyway... Let's go ahead and get some bonus chances for the minigame. And then take out these... These snowmen that just bounce up and down. I could probably do worse if we get too close to them or something. Definitely want to be careful as we make our way through here. Now, once we drop down... We're going to need to stop floating because of these things. You have these little quick man style beams and you don't want these things hitting you. As long as they don't touch your body, you're fine. You, your head can hit them and you won't get hurt. Apparently Kid Clown's body is his hit point hit point is his hitbox and his head is not a part of it for some weird reason I don't get it either but as long as the quick man beams don't hit the lower half of kid clown you're golden also I just took out a couple of yetis that throw snowballs at you and the snowballs actually kind of come down on your current position when they are thrown which is kind of interesting. So don't be surprised if you happen to be just a fair distance away from the Yeti and the snowball just comes right down on you. Also, there are going to be ice physics in this stage, so you definitely want to be careful, especially as you move. Thankfully, I've been doing a lot of jumping and floating, so it's really not that much of a problem. Speaking of floating, Floating around here makes it easier to land on the platforms. And maybe even get the jump on some of the enemies and hit them from above. And we also have... The snowman. That jumps up and down. Creates earthquakes that cause you to jump and stick to the ground. And also causes these snowflakes that also... Drop down from above and hit you. And while we could go to the right... If we throw balloons at this wall and go into the little hole that we make, we get this secret area. There are no enemies. We get three strawberries, a heart, an extra life, and another strawberry. By dropping down here, we get too close to the end of the stage. Grab that power up and just keep holding right you'll blow through all the enemies you'll blow through all of these gaps in the floor and you can also get some more invincibility for good luck and you can carry it over to here now this area you do want to be careful because if you land in the in the cloud platform forms that the ground make black. If you land on the ground which is made up solely of clouds and you're not floating when you do it, you'll get stuck like that for a few seconds. There will be frogs that pop out of the ground here and just jump around. But you should easily be able to take care of them. in case you do get stuck in the ground. And I want to be very careful here, and I want to 
run a little bit, making sure that I create a new balloon each time, so that way I can float if I need to. And let's go ahead and grab that. And apparently you can press up or down to go into a door. Now for this boss. Apparently, you gotta send the balloon at him. And after he bounces it twice, he sends it at you. And you gotta hit him five times. He bounces the balloon up and down twice and he sends it at you and it does hurt. But as long as you keep hitting him with your balloons and you know when to jump to avoid the balloons he sends back at you ahead of time you should have no problem beating that boss and I shot oh it backed away just when I could have hit it at least I got that that worked and I somehow I knew that that small heart down there would back away from me and now I have full health and that gave me health that I didn't exactly need but I will work on my aim all the same because that gave me three lives didn't spend as much time in this stage as I thought I would I'm amazed by that and in this case I'm just shooting at things just to see how well I can aim at stuff. Ah, I can't believe that life got away from me. That stunk. And the meat backed away from me. Oh. And I managed to hit that just in time, but that gave me health and not lives. And I hit that other chest earlier too early. I let go of the button too early. I can hit that though, even though I don't need it. And I threw that too late. Starting to get used to the timing for the top row because, as I mentioned earlier, it takes more time for a balloon to go to the top row than it does at the bottom. You have to shoot at just the right time to get a balloon there and that was my last shot but you know what that's okay because now I'm able to go to stage 5 with 28 lives I'm surprised I have not died once in this game yet watch me die either in the next video or the video after that so join me next time where we take on stage 5 until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Almost mumbled and jumbled up my words there. And thanks for watching!